Today is Sunday, and though I would love to go to church, being married to a musician that usually works on the weekends means that I'm not always able to make it to church on Sundays, so we go on Thursdays. This is a typical day in my life during the weekends. Just because I can't go to church on Sundays, though, it doesn't mean that I can't start my day off with God. Every day, including the weekends, my husband and I sit down and we do a couple's devotional. It is so wonderful to start every morning like this. Like I said in my last video, it just sets the mood for the day and it helps us connect on a deeper level. I'm also working my way through the book of Matthew. It's not my first time, but as you know, every time you read the Bible, you learn something new and God speaks to you in different ways. The Beatitudes is truly one of my favorite things to read through in the Bible. I also got a new prayer journal that I've been working my way through and I'm really enjoying it. I like having prompts that not only do they have Bible verses that I can refer to, but it also just makes me focus on prayer and gratitude. So if you're looking to just deepen your relationship with God, I highly recommend getting one of these journals. After my morning routine of spending time with God, I start to get ready for my husband's show. Though I love supporting my husband and his music and just being there with him, I don't always enjoy getting ready to go out. And this is especially true now as I'm getting older. <laughs> so as you can probably tell from the images you will start to see in a minute, I am not a makeup person. I don't really know how to apply it. I really just like to put like, I think it's called a BB cream or a CC cream. I don't know. It's basically tinted moisturizer. And that is the only foundation I use on my face. I don't use anything else because I really don't know how to contour and do all those things. So basically I'm just smoothing out what I know. I don't really use foundation. So the older I get, I should probably learn how to try to apply the proper makeup for my skin because I think it's only going to make me feel better when I go out and just help me be more confident. Also, I've never been much of a fashion person. For me, comfort is number one. If it's not comfortable, I just can't do it. I changed about three times before settling on this one outfit. And my issues with clothes has gotten even worse since going through perimenopause. I cannot wear anything that's tight around my waist. So this jumper that I'm wearing right here, these, I have like two of them. I'm going to probably get a couple more because they've been truly 
a lifesaver when I go out to my husband's gigs. Since the release of One Christmas With You is approaching, I got an email from KDP, which is the publisher, that I needed to make sure the final copy of the book was uploaded, so I needed to do that really quick before we left. Also, I signed a book for someone that I promised a book to that I thought was coming to the show today, but that ended up not showing up, so... I have his signed book already, but I left it in the car because I know I'm probably going to see them soon. So I'll give it to them next time. It was finally time to leave to the gigs. And the thing about living in the mountains and during fall is that it is absolutely gorgeous up here. I just couldn't stop recording what I was seeing out the window. I mean, look at these trees. These trees were absolutely gorgeous. This is not a filter at all. And I just cannot get enough of it. Most of his shows are about an hour away from where we live, if not more. And we truly enjoy the ride, especially now during fall. But it's actually beautiful any time of the year. So even though most of his gigs are over an hour away, we really don't mind the drive. Most of his shows are also at vineyards and we love these locations. The properties, as you will see, are beautiful. Usually there are really beautiful views. This particular one that we were at didn't have like spectacular mountain views, but other ones surely do. We normally arrive at his gigs about an hour before he's set to start because he needs about that much time to just get started and just get settled before the crowd starts showing up. In fact, we love these vineyards so much that I'm actually having the book release for One Christmas With You at one of these vineyards. And I'm super excited because it's going to be my first book release. Even though I've published seven books, it's going to be my first book release party and it's going to be my first in-person sign-in. And of course, I'm going to record it and share it all with you guys. During this time when he's setting up is when I usually order my food. And something I really love about these vineyards is that if they don't have a menu, a restaurant per se, they usually have a food truck. And let me tell you something, I have not had a bad food truck food since I've been going to his gigs with him. I mean, you guys, this is all new to me as far as these gigs. I've gone to my husband's gigs plenty of time, but the last time I lived in Georgia, I didn't really go a lot to his gigs. I was mostly at home recording videos or writing, but I decided that this time around when we moved back that I was not just gonna stay at home, that I was actually gonna go out and enjoy myself. And this wood burning fireplace inspired me. And when we buy our house, I must have a wood burning fireplace. I absolutely love it. This day I ordered a chicken salad wrap and you guys, it was one of the best wraps I've ever had. Here's a little clip of my husband singing. If you guys like what you see, you can subscribe to his channel. He's got a ton of videos. I'll link it below. Can't you see? Every time you go away. One of the best things of coming out of my shell and actually going to my husband's gigs is that I've made so many new friends. I'm truly, truly grateful for all of them. When his gig is over, we usually stop for dinner someplace and it's a, a nice way for us to just reconnect. The night ends pretty much the same way it started with a shower, skincare, and more Bible reading. If you like this video, make sure you check out this one next. And until next time, God bless you.